Hello there, people of the internet. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. First things first, don't mind my nails. I'm learning to do my nails on my own and um, it's not going well. So today I am going to be doing a little Valentine's Day makeup for you guys in case you have maybe a Valentine's Day date or you have an actual Valentine's Day date. That would be fun. I think we're gonna do a very like pink girly type of look so hopefully that's what you guys are interested in and let's get into it and I think about killing myself and I love myself way more than I love you so First thing, I'm going to start off with this Physician's Formula Rose All Day Oil Free Serum. So this serum is like 10 years old, first of all. So this serum gives you like an insane pinky glow underneath your makeup and I think it just looks super pretty and it's going to match the look we're doing today. So we're going to just put that all over our face and rub it in. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take my hair out of my face because I just showered and I don't want to get concealer in my hair. Cute. <laughs> so we want this look to last all night because who knows what you're going to be getting up to. Might get a little sweaty. So I'm going to be going in with a mixture of primer because my Milk Hydro Grip primer just ran out. Um, put any primer on your face. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm using like four different kinds right now. Also for this look, I'm gonna be trying to use as many like drugstore products as I can because we're not rich. So I'm gonna be going in with this Maybelline Cheek Heat Liquid Blush and you're just gonna wanna put it all over your cheeks. Under eye, cheeks, all the way up. Just put it on like liberally. It's definitely gonna be a very rosy look today, but also this is like your first layer and we're gonna be adding more blushes on top of this. So don't worry, it's gonna get rosier. Put some of it on my eyelid. Just use your fingers to blend it out. It's the easiest way. I'm also using this in hopes that it'll cancel out some of the purples in my under eye area because my under eye bags are massive. And we're not gonna talk about why. Trust that it's been hard lately and um, that's all you need to know. Now that we look literally ill, um, we're gonna be going in with some concealers. So I use this Fit Me Old Crusty <laughs> concealer and I also use this age rewind one by Maybelline that was trending back in like 2016 girl it still works I still use it this one is like a shade that's honestly too light for me but what I do is after I apply this one I take this one that has the little sponge on it and I kind of just use it to like blend it a little bit and also add some darker colors so that I'm not like too pasty also taking this spot correcting because if you know me you know I don't use foundation and once again we're blending out with our finger honestly I think that our finger is the best beauty tool we have do I think that I don't know I said it so I guess I do after I do my concealer I always go in with setting powder because my concealer always creases and I find that if I go in right away with setting powder it'll crease a lot less this is the Marcel face powder it's just a loose powder then this is where I come in with my beauty blender this is actually like a slightly fuzzy beauty blender and I dip it into the powder and I just press onto my under eye so I kind of go in everywhere just to make it like blend more. So before I wipe off the excess, I'm going to be going in with a little bronzer. This one does happen to be the Too Faced one. And we're just going to be going right where we want our contour line to be. Oh, I didn't even blend out this concealer. That's cute. Love that for me. Now this does look dark and heavy right now, and it is, but we're going to be blending it out, so. Don't you fret. I also would like to take a little bit and just go the top of my eye. You can go under your chin a little bit too. I don't normally do this, but for a Valentine's Day look, you want to be looking snatched, so let's be snatched. So I'm using circular motions and pushing upwards, not dragging it downwards, and that's just going to give you a more lifted look instead of like a sagging look because no one wants that. There we go. Now we have a nice little base. And here is the second time we're going in with blush. So this is a little trio. I don't even remember where I got it from. You're going to be wanting to go in with a pinky, almost orangey kind of tone. And I take that one and I also mix it with an orangey blush. And just go right on my cheeks all the way up. Then I'm going in with my blush again and I'm going over my eyelid to warm those up a bit too. That's going to be kind of like our transition color. Tip of the nose too because... It's a Valentine's Day look. Now we're moving on to the eye look. So I'm going in with this 
Makeup Revolution Roxy palette. You're just gonna want a palette that has some nice <gasps> Just gonna want to make sure that your palette has some nice pink shades including like deep dark pinks because that's what we're using for this look so first with my fluffy brush i'm gonna be going in with a beige and just kind of sweeping that over the eye as well to blend in with that blush that we just put on okay so next i'm going to be using this little hack that i saw on tiktok basically you take your eyelash curler and you put it over your eye like this so then you can do like a nice almost cut crease without actually having to use concealer after i've used this once before and it worked so i hope it works this time too Let's take a small little fluffy brush i'm going into the inspire shade so it's like a mauvey type of pink i guess placing this over my eyeball and just sweeping the color on there Now I'm going to be taking my fluffy brush and just doing a little bit of blending before I actually take the thing off and it actually works like look at that I'm focusing the eyeshadow more to the outer corner than the inner corner. So now that we have a nice little cut crease on both sides, I'm going to continue to blend it out a little bit. So we don't want like an actual full cut crease. We just wanted that shape and our eyelash curler helped us do that. Now we're taking a bit of a more flat brush. I'm going to go on the side here, again in that same color, and we're just going to line it up from our outer corner towards our eyebrow. And we're just going to put that pigment on there. If you want, you can start to try to blend the two together. Going on to your lash line a little bit. Wow. I'm going to go back in with that Inspire color a little bit and just kind of blend this out more. Next, with the flat brush, going underneath the eye. So we're gonna add one more color into this eyeshadow look because it's literally just been one color this whole time. I'm going to be going in with Ariel in this palette so it's like a more ready type of pink. I'm just gonna be going right in that crease. Again, you can go under the eye. So now it should look like this. It still looks a little crazy, but it'll all come together later. Oh. <laughs> okay, so before we go in with our eyeliner, oh my god, I haven't done my eyebrows. We're going to be going in, of course, with the same palette, and they have this shade called Unicorn, which is similar to the champagne color, I think, in the chocolate bar palette. And we're just going to be taking that in the inner corner. Look at that. Wow. Next, we're going to be going in with the sunset color and taking that under the eye, as well as right at the end here. Now that we have the sparkle on, we're going to move on to eyeliner. So I have been debating between doing a pink liner or a red liner, and I think I'm going to go with pink. For this look, we're going to be using water activated liners, which basically they're like a dry palette, but then as soon as you add water, it becomes like a liquid eyeliner. You're going to need a brush for this and of course the palette. This isn't from the drugstore, however this is a small business. So honestly, for the amount of product you got, this was pretty decently priced. Brand name is Bose Beauty XX Perfect Pastels. That's the name of the palette. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. I dip my brush in just some water. Then I dip it into the palette and mix it around. And then I get a nice pink liner. For this eyeliner, I'm just going to be following right through the center of the eyeshadow. So by taking the light right on top of the dark eyeshadow, we're creating almost like a neon effect, which is super cool. So that is what it's going to look like. I, you can see I just brought it in, not all the way to the inner corner, but almost there. And I brought it to the lash line here on the bottom. I'm going to do the other eye and come back. Okay, so now we have this cute little pink eyeliner look. Of course, what I'm going to be adding next is a tiny little heart. Oh, 
Okay, you guys, so this is what we have ended up with. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go apply lashes, then we'll come back for the final touches. Okay, I just got these eyelashes by Glamnetic. Look how cute. I'm gonna attempt to use them, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I didn't end up going with the Kurumi lashes because I just felt like this needed like a wispier look, so I went for these like wispier type of lashes. How I do my eyebrows, I take a little pomade, this one's by L'Oreal, and I just fill in the corners. Then I'm taking this e.l.f. eyebrow gel. Works super good, and it's by e.l.f., and it was like $5. Then I just brush the eyebrows up. And I gotta wait for the gel to dry a little bit, then I can actually like shape them into something because right now they just look crazy. While I'm waiting for those to dry, I may as well do my lips. I think I'm gonna go for a red lip today. I might change my mind after I have it on. We'll see how it looks with the look. I changed my mind. We're gonna do a more nudie pink color. We're getting down to the final steps. I'm going in with this highlighter by Laura Geller. Um, it's just like a pink highlight. And I'm gonna add this like all over my cheek coming up and a little bit on top of my eyebrow. All right, I'm just gonna add some lip gloss, I think, and then I'm gonna come back for the final look. I totally forgot to do my waterline. I'm going in with a white pencil. This is a Maybelline one, I think. Oh no, it's an Annabelle one, I don't know. And we're just gonna go in our waterline. Okay, y'all, this is the final look. I think she looks super cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? I usually do more of like a sultry kind of look for Valentine's Day, but this time I went for like a cutesy look and I love it. Also, if you like my earrings, I made them. So check out Maddie Makes Stuff if you want earrings. Plug in myself, like always. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. If you try out this look, please tag me in your posts. I would love to see you guys do this little cutesy neon Valentine's Day look. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. I think that's it. See you in the next one. Bye! I contemplated premeditated murder. This is my Valentine, y'all. His name is Cola. He's uh, 13, but in dog years, that's about... Old. He's old. You're just gonna wanna. <laughs> just wanna. <laughs> and who really cares? It's fine. Placing this. Ow! Jeez.